Illegal immigration is always a hot topic. Uh, and it's about to heat up again right here in Tennessee when state lawmakers go back to work in January. They're looking at new ways to enforce federal immigration laws. Our Mark Bellinger reports the latest effort targets safe havens for undocumented immigrants. It's a story all new at 630. Immigration enforcement has always been the federal government's job. If police arrest an undocumented immigrant, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement can place a hold on them at the local jail to start deportation procedures. Evan Cathy with the Tennessee Immigrant and Refugee Rights Coalition argues that doesn't always work in some communities. Instead of making the community safer, he argues the threat of deportation builds a mistrust between immigrants and local police and the result is more unsolved crime. And if requests from the federal government are making their community less safe, they shouldn't have to honor those. The result of his argument has been the creation of safe havens or sanctuaries for undocumented immigrants in cities and counties where local police ignore ICE detainers and even provide some services to undocumented immigrants. There are more than 300 communities across the United States known as sanctuary states, counties, and cities. You may notice there's not one in Tennessee. Franklin Republican Representative Jeremy Durham is drafting legislation that penalizes leaders of Tennessee cities and counties who create sanctuaries and even give undocumented immigrants other benefits. And it's really up in the air how we do that. You know, we might look at the comp trailer line out in the budget. We might look at ECD funding, but that's the things that I'll be thinking about when, um, when we're putting the legislation together. Withholding economic development money and letting the comptroller take away an item in a city budget? Can lawmakers do that? Durham says yes. Because they are legal creatures of the state, so the state has powers the federal government doesn't really have directly. Mm -hmm. um, and the comptroller is one of, those, one of those places I think that we should, we should consider because there are situations when the comptroller can take contr control of local budgets, and this might be one of those times we should look at it. Kathy says it's more political posturing in what will be an election year. We don't need the state telling us how to do that. And we definitely don't need them trying to get the federal government to come into our municipality and tell us how best uh, to, to police our communities. We'll find out in January when the state legislature reconvenes. Mark Bellinger, News Channel 5. Representative Durham says he is still in the early stages of drafting legislation and says he's open to other ideas on how to penalize cities that pass laws creating havens for undocumented immigrants.